Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel. Yance of the Universe, it's me, Yanta. Leo, this is going to be your next 48 reading, all right? So this is going to be what's going on for you in the next 48 hours or whenever you see this reading. So Leo, remember that not every message, not every card, not, not every storyline is going to resonate. Remember, there's a bunch of different Leos out there, so only take what resonates for you, cross watchers. Y'all know y'all got to flip-flop the role and reverse it. Um, Leo, you do the same. If I say it's you and, you're, and, you're, and it's your cross-watcher, just reverse it. I'm saying Leo because it's a Leo reading. Holy Spirit, protect me as I go in the tarot. Return to send me and all negativity. Show me clear enough messages for Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and North Node. Return to send in and all negativity. Show me clear messages for Leo. Take me to the white light of protection. Protect me, protect my channel, protect my viewers, protect the messages. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, Leo, let's see the general energy. Y'all got the devil card at the bottom of the deck. Y'all are dealing with the Capricorn. Or somebody's being very mature or very petty. Okay, y'all be careful. Uh, is my deck reversed? Some of my cards are reverse, but I don't even read reverses. Okay, let's see. Let me let's see what's going on before I get to saying something. What's going on for Leo? What's the energy gonna be like? What's the energy surrounding Leo in the next 48 hours? What's the energy surrounding Leo in the next 48 hours, Holy Spirit? meditate and contemplate so you got to meditate you could be dealing with the pisces or have pisces in your chart so there's some meditation that you should be doing some contemplation maybe something's going to get you stuck in your head that's having you think about something maybe you just want some peace and you want to get to yourself and just meditate sit and think reflect contemplate on some things get some answers okay maybe asking some questions all right under that i see a win-win outcome is forecast okay don't let pride get in your way leo so maybe there's a situation and a talk or a decision or something that happens that's like don't let your pride get in the way whether it's your pride getting in your way telling you to not do something because sometimes pride will and I can't speak for some reason. I only was not able to speak when I started your reading. Maybe you should do some throat chakra work because all of, I'm getting tongue tied. So don't let your pride get in the way, Leo. Sometimes pride will stop us from doing something we want to do. And that is actually good for us. Sometimes pride will make us do certain things and get us acting out of our higher selves because that pride that ego maybe sometimes pride sometimes pride can save you you know i need to have more pride i need to have more dignity that way i'm not letting people run over me but there's some area of this pride that is getting in your way whatever that means to you or whatever is happening for you leo don't let it get in your way okay some i'm getting a sense that you need you should speak up this time Whatever it is, speak up this time. Don't don't let it, don't turn the other cheek. Say something this time. Speak up this time, okay? Anything else or don't let pride get in your way? What do you need to release? Maybe you're too prideful to admit there are some things that you need to release, Leo. What do you need to release? Who is that man that ain't treating you right that you haven't released yet? Who is that woman who's playing you that you need to release that you have not released yet okay what is that habit that you haven't released yet what is that addiction that you haven't released yet okay what is that fear or doubt that you have not released yet there are some things you need to release leo so don't let that pride get in your way from releasing and becoming a, your higher version of yourself that's probably why meditate and contemplate was here because you're asking yourself, what do I need to release? Okay, and this is, this is going to be a real 100% raw conversation that you have with yourself, spirit, or maybe you could be going to therapy or whoever you're talking to and just letting it all out. Remember I said, say something this time. I was getting that feeling. Say something this time. Speak up this time. 
okay? I just got the, you gonna have to do more than just say it, okay? <laughs> you gonna have to do more, okay? What's the energy surrounding Leo in the next 48 hours? What's the energy surrounding Leo in the next 48 hours, please, Holy Spirit? Soulmate, okay? Yes, this is your soulmate. Maybe you're having this talk with your soulmate. The soulmate could be your brother, friend, sister, mom, lover, whoever this soulmate is. Soulmates usually are people who teach you lessons, though. Okay? In the next 48 hours, you could be meeting your soulmate. Or somewhere in, in this week. You know you know how time is, y'all. Y'all know how time is. Okay? It's safe for you to love. You're going to be finding out that it is safe for you to love as well. Okay? Anything else going on for Leo? Oh, my God. Did y'all see that card jump out like that? Reconciliation. So, someone from your past is returning to your life. So this could be a past life relationship, a past life soulmate. This could be an old co-worker, old childhood friend, maybe someone that you uh, dated way back when and never got off the ground. I'm not talking about the person who hurt you, y'all. This don't scream the person who hurt you energy. It's not them. The person who hurt you and you've been wanting for them to do right by you and come back and do right. No, this is not them. I'm not getting that energy. Okay, we do have reconciliation. This could be a past life person. You've had lifetimes with them before. They're coming into your life again now. Okay? They could be coming into your life after both of you heal some family issues. All right? And then we have trust. Okay. So that's the energy surrounding you for the next 48 hours. Anything else? No, let me go here. No, let me do the tarot first because I want to see um, what's going on for Leo. The world card wanted to jump out. All the fire signs got the world card. We got the eight of cups. So maybe you're feeling a little sad or your person is feeling a little distant, wanting that nine of cups, wanting that ten of cups, wanting that satisfaction. This is that meditate and contemplate, mating, you mating. Okay, you are making that choice and decision to move in the area or move in the direction that's going to make you happy. That's going to give you that nine and ten of cups. That's going to give you satisfaction. Okay, this is why you're distant. You're distant because you're seeking satisfaction or your person is. So there's two sides to this eight of cups message because the eight of cups is someone who looks over the fence wanting something better, wanting something more. Okay, is this you or your person? Okay, and what is causing you to want something better? What's causing you to want something more? It means that you're not being fulfilled in some area of your life. Okay? And it could have to do with yourself, your self-love with the Queen of Cups. You keep looking over the fence because you haven't filled that void that can only be filled with self-love. Alright? Maybe that's what that's where that pride is. Don't let pride get in your way. You've got to admit some things to yourself. Okay, give me some more. What's going on for Leo? Okay, we got the Tower card, Scorpio Energy. There's going to be an ending, a realization, a transformation. Clarify the Tower. Okay, it's going to be a transformation in the way you feel. A transformation in your emotions, the way you feel, your intuition. Okay, because it's all about cups. Getting stable with the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe you weren't before. But with the Wheel of Fortune, it's going to take some effort. It is. It's going to take effort from you. It's going to take effort from you, Leo. Also, it's going to take effort from this person, I feel. It's going to take a lot of effort from this person. Clarify the tower. Really? Clarify the tower for Leo. You, the strength card. A lot. I said a lot of effort, a lot of strength. Why, though? Seven of Swords. You got to see the truth. Self-sabotage. Maybe you need to resist this person. Maybe this is a test. Seven of Swords. Maybe you need to resist this person. And then with the Two of Wands reverse, 
Don't go in this direction. Clarify strength for Leo. The Emperor. Okay, play by your own rules. You've learned you've learned certain things, you've learned certain lessons. You don't have to keep learning the same lesson. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Scorpio coming towards you. This is a boss. This is someone who has it all under control. This is someone who has it figured out as well. Someone who can help you. Someone who um, is on that level, okay? This is that guy right there. All those other dudes who've been saying, oh, I'm that guy, no, the fuck they not. This is that guy. The emperor is that guy, okay? With the hair fin at the bottom of the deck, He's that he's been ordained that guy by spirit, okay, by the life lessons that he's learned or by the life lessons that she's learned. This is that guy or this is that woman right here. Okay, this is the real deal, Holyfield. And I feel like this rubs you the wrong way. This uh ruffles your feathers, Leo, because someone is just as bad as you, if not badder. Leos don't like that. Or maybe, because I know, I'm not going to lie, if I see somebody who bad, it depends on what energy I'm in. If I'm feeling insecure, it may rub me the wrong way, just to be honest. But if I'm feeling positive and vibrating high, yes, I'm cheering for them. Yes, I'm clapping for them. You do your thing, okay? So I, it really depends on what energy you're in when this person comes in. Or maybe it depends on the energy that this person is in when you come in. You could be the Emperor Leo. You could be the one, the baddie, the one, Neo, in the Matrix, okay? <laughs> you, you broke the Matrix, okay? You defeated it, the Matrix. Now you're coming out on top of the world with the strength card. Can't nobody tell you shit, but there's where that pride is. There's that pride. Don't let your pride get in your way. You, there's still things you can learn from people, all right? Leo, Leo is like that. Can't nobody tell me shit. Leo is like that. You could be dealing with an Aries, another Leo, or a Scorpio. There it is. I see it now. The Three of Swords and the Devil card. It could be someone from your past wanting to make amends. It could be someone, an energy vampire is still pulling on your energy as well, though. Because we got the Prince of Pentacles. There's someone still tucking on your energy. They're not happy. Nine of Cups reverse. Five of Wands reverse. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Okay, there's somebody. Okay, what is that energy? Who is that? For Leo. Eight of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Six of Wands. The Hermit. It could be a Virgo. Ace of Cups reverse, though. Three of Cups reverse. Two of Wands. Ace of Swords. There's somebody who's coming towards you who still doesn't uh, know how they feel about you in their heart, but in their mind, they feel like they know how they feel about you. But it's not enough to keep the relationship going. This may be a waste of your time. Eight of Wands and the uh, Nine of Pentacles. It's going to come in fast, but I feel like it's going to end as soon as it fasts with the Hermit card. It's going to be fun for maybe like a week. Eight days, nine days. But with the Hermit card, it's going to end as soon as it begins. Because this person is fickle with the Page of Cups. They do want a good time with you, though. They think you're sexy, but... I just think you should pass on this. So, in the next 48 hours, I see two different energies. This could be you who's bossed up. And sometimes when, when a Leo feels good... They've already forgiven people without them even having to ask for forgiveness. That's why Leo's always let people come back. Next time, if somebody does you wrong, don't take them back un until they apologize. All right. What's going on for Leo angels? Take action. Okay. Take action, Leo. There's something you got to take action to do. Anything else? Trust. All right. Take action and trust. What does Leo need to trust? Ooh. Be assertive. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Be assertive in the things that you want and trust that it's going to happen for you. Trust that 
if you decline someone or accept someone, it's all going to work out in your highest good. But use your intuition as well. Be assertive, all right, in the things that you want. Don't let pride get in your way, Leo. Give me a message to close this reading for Leo. We have soulmate and reconciliation. Now, I could have been reading for past energy with this person being all fickle and stuff. Maybe they are coming in to fix things. Or this is a new person, you know, whoever it is. Be assertive, Leo. Take action in the things that you do want. Trust in your intuition. Give me a message for Leo. For the next 48, please. Okay. We got spaceships. Don't be afraid to sing. Don't be afraid to sing your own song. Don't be afraid. Leo 43. 43. Breaks down to a seven. Seven days. Seven weeks. Seven months seven years where's this card 43 spaceship don't be afraid to sing leo you've been made to believe that your voice that your unique point of view in this world isn't worth very much let me tell you that couldn't be further from the truth your words are worth all the stars in the night sky so don't forget to sing whenever you have the chance leo your voice is powerful enough to sink a dozen spaceships so go ahead and roar, Leo. I told you in the very beginning, you're going to have to say something. Speak up this time. Don't turn the other cheek. You're going to have to say something. I said that before we even pulled all these cards out, Leo. So there's something you got to speak up about. And we have be assertive as well. Okay, speak up. Maybe there's someone you need to speak up for. Maybe you're going to see something and you should speak up about it. Okay, I love you, you guys. Y'all be safe. Until I see you again, check out all your readings. You could like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Check the description box. Um, Y'all be safe. Bye-bye.